Welcome to the Cerner Power Chart tutorial series. Today we're going to talk about searching for a patient's chart. So first I'll log in here. Always look for this icon. So let's say you're in the office, you got a phone call from another physician or from a unit secretary or a nurse requesting a consultation on a patient on the floor, uh, someone you haven't seen before, and you were wanting to look at the chart and get an idea of what's going on before you head over to the hospital. So you log into Cerner, you get the message center if it's the first time you've logged in for the day, it gives you the opportunity to sign any charts that you need, sign any orders, keep current. Now. Typically, I'd find patients in my patient list, but in this case, because it's somebody I don't know, and I'm just going to search them. So in this uh, scenario, the patient's name is 12 Quality Connect. So the first name is 12, and the last name is Quality Connect. When I start by typing the last name, as you can see, one more time for emphasis. Type in the last name followed by the first name, hit enter. You will get the search window, which gives you in the upper pane, it gives you two different patients that are named Quality Connect 12. And they're two different patients because they have different ages, different date of births. So Quality Connect 12, 68 years old is highlighted. And this patient who's nine, year old, nine years old is highlighted. If you look in the lower, bottom pane, you'll notice that this patient has two FIN numbers or financial identification numbers. The first is a patient that's still admitted to the hospital, has not been discharged. The second one is a closed encounter. So I can simply, I can either highlight it and then click OK or I can just double click the number and go straight into the chart. Now let me give you some alternatives or some good things to know about searching for a patient. So once again, always starts with last name, comma, first name. Last name, comma, first name. But let's say I'm trying to type in the name and for whatever reason I, I misspell it and I hit enter. Well, I get nothing. And of course that can be quite frustrating if you're not sure how to spell the name. One option is to put a percentage and then that creates um, a search where it will give you anybody that has Quality Connect as the last name. Here I typed in a T followed by a percentage and I get anybody whose first name starts with a T. So that helps. I can do the same thing with the last name. So in this case, anybody who has test in their last name and a T in their first name will come up in the upper pane. So that can make finding patients a little easier. Just remember it's the percent sign. There's another shortcut that you can use in the name window in the upper right hand corner. If you use the first three letters of the last name, followed by a comma, followed by the first three letters of the first name, then you have a quick way to do the search. So 
last name, three digits, three letters, comma, first name, three letters. And now I can see everybody who has Q-U-A and T-W-E. And it just turns out that the patient I'm looking for is the very top of the list. And I'll double click this encounter. And I've got the patient's chart. You'll notice next to the search bar, there's a recent button where I can go and click and look at any of the last nine patients that I have viewed. I can quickly access their chart. You'll also notice a list button. If I'm working in a patient list and I pull up my patient list, Now I have access to the list where I can just click on the list and it'll go to the next patient in that list. So that concludes this tutorial on searching for a patient. If you're looking for more information about the patient list, there's another video up that talks more specifically on how to use that feature. Thanks.